So what happened to these 23 obese individuals? Well, the first thing that happened is that every single one of them, on average, this was an average number, lost 3% of their body weight. We also saw a significant reduction in systolic blood pressure. It went down seven points. Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite styles of fasting. So it's the 16-8 intermittent fasting. This is a fast everybody can do. Do a long fast one day. Your blood sugar going up and down. We're in it together. But the first thing I want you to know is that there is so much research on 16-8 fasting. And so I picked, I highlighted one that I personally like because there is one key part of this study I'm gonna show you. And that's that the people in the study didn't change what they ate, but they still lost weight just by compressing their eating window to eight hours. Which when I see a statistic like that, like fires me up because if we just take every, we take the whole world and we just say, okay, eat whatever you want. Let's just compress your eating into an eight hour window and you can get these kind of results. That is insane. So I wanna make sure that you understand just how powerful this style of fasting can be. So here's the study. It was done out of the Journal of Nutrition and Healthy Eating 2018, so not, not too long ago. 23 obese individuals. You know, 23 is not a huge sample size, but it's not a mouse study. We had that, they had them eat a w eating window between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. This means that the first food that went in their mouth was at 10 a.m. and they stopped eating at 6 p.m. But when they did eat, no rules. They ate whatever they wanted. And the other key part of this study is they did it for 12 weeks. And I think that is really, really important because what happens to a lot of us is we get excited about this, this type of ease of fast but we forget that actually consistency over time can have a dramatic impact. So what happened to these 23 obese individuals? Well, the first thing that happened is that every single one of them, on average, this was an average number, lost 3% of their body weight. Now at first, 3% might not seem like a big number, but as somebody who looks through studies all the time, this actually, well, I really liked the way they reported this because sometimes if you've seen when you've gone on diets with other people, some people lose weight fast, some lose it a little slower. So giving a percentage of weight was really helpful for me as I was looking through the study. So 3% body weight, that's a huge amount. We also saw a significant reduction in systolic blood pressure. It went down seven points. Okay, I wanna point something out for a second. S going down your systolic blood pressure, going down seven points by just compressing your eating window from 10 to six, that is the same efficacy as a blood pressure medication. So if you're not looking for medication as your route towards better blood pressure, have you tried a 16-8 intermittent fasting style? The other thing that I found really interesting about this study is they did say that these 23 individuals after 12 weeks, there was no overall change to their insulin resistance. My guess is they were looking at hemoglobin A1C, but the, I, I didn't, couldn't find it in the study. And there was no change in their cholesterol. Well, the, perhaps the reason for that is because food still matters. So even though they lost weight, even though blood pressure went down, if you add this type of fasting with, and pair it with a good eating style, you are going to see a change in insulin resistance. You're gonna see a change in cholesterol. So I'll show you the two styles at the end of this video. Typically, the way that I look at 16-8 is that if, I always say, if you and I were chatting with each other at line at the grocery store and you said to me, hey, what's the best style of fasting? I would say, probably 16-8. It's a pretty solid, good foundational fast because of three reasons. One, you're gonna see more weight loss. Two, if you're having blood sugar mismanagement, so these are your pre-diabetics, your diabetics. These are people who maybe have fatty liver disease or maybe you're just fasting and you're like, why is my blood sugar not going down? 16-8 is a great, great approach. And we also know it's going to increase longevity. 
So consistently over time, this is the tried and true type of fasting style, which is why I wanted to highlight it. The other question that I get a lot is, well, what should my eating window be? Well, I showed you the study. The study was from 10 to six. That's what the eating window was. But you know, if you look overall, there are a lot of different ways that you can take eight hours and move it around to match your lifestyle. And that is what I love about fasting is it can match your lifestyle. So here are some of the most common ones. Some people eat from seven in the morning to three in the afternoon and then they stop. If you're trying to lose weight, this is actually a really good eating window. Eat more earlier in the day and then stop at three, you're gonna accelerate weight loss. So if you've tried that eating window, put it in the comments so we can see what kind of result you got. Some people do 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pretty common style of eating window. 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. I would say in my household, this is the more common one. Uh, we are empty nesters now, but when the kids were in the house, this was kind of where we started to eat was around seven o'clock. But that worked for a busy family. That was absolutely the right time for us to be eating. And then some of you that really have late, uh, late days, you could go 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. But I show you this to sh show you, you can take this eight hours and find the right fit for you. Now let's talk about the eating styles to pair with this. So overall, we have to remember that fasting is only one part of the weight loss equation. Even though we see results without changing food, if you want even better results, let's look at two styles of eating that I have found is the most effective for weight loss. First style, it's simple. You're just gonna get off three ingredients. You're gonna get out all the bad oils. So these are your canola oils, your cotton seeds, your corn, your soybean. You also wanna get off of all the man-made refined carbohydrates. This is your cakes, your cookies, your breads, your pastas, and just eat nature's carbs. It's that simple. And then the third ingredient list that is horrific are your toxic ingredients. These are your monosodium glutamate, your red dyes, your artificial colors and flavors. And part of losing weight, part of being healthy with fasting is knowing when you do eat what's in those ingredients. So make sure no fake ingredients, no bad oils, no refined carbohydrates. Okay, second style of eating that works incredibly well, and I've got a whole nother video after this one for you. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And that is carnivore eating. Now I know the vegans out there are like, no, no, this is horrific. But I wanna tell you that there is incredible research. I'm gonna show you a, a current study on the next video out of Harvard Medical School that watched people who ate only meat and dairy for six months and they paired it with 16-8 intermittent fasting. It is dramatic the results that they got, not just weight loss, but many of them actually got off medications. Many of them started to see changes in their mood. I'm gonna show you how many results they got on the next video. Your fasting is 16-8, but you can just make sure you pull the top three most harmful t ingredients out and just go with it that way, or you can actually push yourself a little bit and try carnivore-only eating, which is meat and dairy. Last thing, when I dive into these studies, one of the things that's really fun is that I love to see what the head of the study says. There's always some really good quote, and this one is great. So let's talk about what the head of the study said. The take home, and this is verbatim, the take home message from this study is that there are options for weight loss that do not include calorie counting or eliminating certain foods. Okay, how many of you would like to lose weight without eliminating a single food from your diet? I mean, stop and think about that. That's the potential of 16-8 fasting. So I love this study. I love this type of fasting. If you wanna take it to the next level, make sure you do it with those two food styles. If you have gotten results with this type of fasting, put it in the notes so as a community we can see. To me, 16-8 fasting is how we can overturn this horrific statistic that has come out of the University of North Carolina two years ago that only 12% of Americans are metabolically fit. 
I know we have a worldwide audience, but metabolic fitness is becoming a epidemic across the world. It is really difficult to get people to change their food behaviors. So let's change when they eat, not what they eat, and let's get the world metabolically fit. So as always, I appreciate you guys. I love being on this journey with you. Please, in the comments, tell your fasting weight loss story. Tell us what has happened to you with 16-8. If you're new to fasting, go look at those comments because we've got hundreds of thousands of people on this channel that are getting insane results and the world needs to know about it. So as always, I hope that helps. Okay, if you've made it this far in the video, it's a sign you definitely need to subscribe. And if you wanna learn more, if you love that video and you wanna dive into more of the information I have on this channel, go to this video.